And veterans have welcomed an historic change to Government House, which will see the grounds shrunk to accommodate a larger Anzac memorial. But disappointment, the Premier couldn't complete Adelaide's Centenary Walk project in time for Saturday's once-in-a-century anniversary. Long mooted and often discussed, the Anzac Centenary Walk is finally one step closer to becoming reality. There is no greater love than to lay down your life for your nation. Uh, and that's what we are commemorating. But perhaps not soon enough. Rather than have a finished product or even plans finalised in time for the centenary of Anzac on Saturday, the Premier only had pictures and a promise. Disappointed in some ways that uh, we haven't been able to, but uh, there's also a, such importance, especially with something like this, that is right. We're disappointed that it's going to come after the celebration this weekend. There are a range of important events which have already been commissioned. We didn't want this to be a construction site during this important period as well. The memorial will require the first boundary change to the grounds of Government House in 88 years, allowing the Kintor Avenue footpath to be widened by 10 metres. The walk will link the North Terrace War Memorial with the Torrens Parade Ground, but reclaiming the land will require a change in legislation. We're 100% behind this project. It's just disappointing that they haven't brought that legislation to the Parliament already. Once the legislative hurdles are cleared and a design chosen, it's hoped construction will start later this year. The project's $10 million price tag to be covered by federal and state governments and the Adelaide City Council. Rory McLaren, Nine News.